Hello, in the last video we saw how to generate an HTML report from our JMeter test. So in uh, last video we had run the entire test and after that we had generated the HTML report. Uh, uh, the test execution itself generated the HTML report. But now we are going to see how uh, we can generate an HTML report without running the test. If we have the CSV file from our previous test run, we can generate it from that CSV file itself. So the way to do it is open your command prompt. The HTML report folder should be empty. This report folder I have shown you in the last video and the bin uh, bin folder should have or whichever folder you, you had selected, it should have the comma separated that is the csv file from the last run so i already have this so now open your command prompt and then go to the bin directory and here you need to type the following command type jmeter minus g or hyphen g as many people of are accustomed to say and then you give the location of your csv file so to get the location of the csv file go here do a right click to properties and in security you will get the entire csv file location just select this select this copy it and then right click and paste it since on dos prompt you cannot just do a control c control v you do a right click and paste this csv file name after that you do a minus o and then you give the html report folder so in our case it is this one so just go here say control c and then in the dos prompt right click and paste so that's about it that you need to do just we will keep a watch on this uh, html this html folder uh, after pressing enter so i am clicking enter here and it has started yep see the files have started appearing the content folder has come and everything is in place so i'm just waiting for the uh, JMeter test to get completed and once it gets completed we will open the index.html so this is how you generate uh, index report file from a standalone csv file ok while this is executing i will pause the video ok it has completed so we can open the index.html this is the index.html it gives the same results and we have these results we have a failure that is listed below and then if we go here we have all the charts the overtime charts yep there you go response time over time and the other charts so this is how you can generate the standalone uh, reports from a standalone csv file if you have any questions regarding the report generation, the HTML report generation, do uh, send me a note in the comment section below and do subscribe to my channel and keep watching.